This video will demonstrate how to do ABC analysis or ABC classification. Uh, the idea behind ABC analysis or classification is to organize your inventory and identify those items that constitute a high value of your inventory and need to be tracked much more closely than those uh, uh, parts of your inventory that do not uh, account for a whole lot of money. So instead of treating all of your inventory items as equal, there are certain inventory items that uh, constitute a large uh, percentage of your inventory, the, the dollar value, and therefore those should be tracked uh, much more closely than those that don't constitute a whole lot of, uh, of value in regards to your inventory. And the way you do that is, first of all, it's a combination of the demand, the quantity, and uh, and the cost. Uh, in other cases, um, if the demand is fairly equal, then some companies will concentrate just on the cost. Uh, or if there is difficulties in ordering certain items, um, they may use those. So there are variations to ABC analysis, but the traditional approach is to take into account the demand and the cost. And so that's what we're going to do. So we want to determine the total um, dollar value and so what we would do is we would take the demand and multiply that by the cost and then we're going to copy that down and we'll double check that it did it correctly uh, so it is multiplying for G2 for this inventory item uh, the demand times the cost uh, and that would give us then uh, $450,000. Now we could format these. Uh, it's really not necessary. But uh, what we need to do now is we need to calculate uh, the total cost of, of our inventory. So I'm going to just sum up all of these values here using the sum function. So the total value of our inventory is it looks like a million eighty seven thousand five hundred that's the total value of our inventory now with that I can calculate the percentage and so the percentage of course uh, how much does this particular inventory item in comparison to our total value of our inventory I am going to absolute this uh, so that I can copy it down because I want to divide each of the inventory items by the uh, the total value of an inventory and this will allow me then to copy down that formula so let's go ahead and copy that formula down and then we'll double check that it did it correctly so we'll click on this one so it took the 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 value of that particular item f3 which is the annual demand times the cost uh, and then divided that by the total value and so uh, we get this uh, 22, almost 23 percent. Now let's format these as uh, percentages. So we'll do that percentage and carry two decimal places. And so you'll see here that out of all of these inventory items, uh, G2 constitutes the largest uh, part of, of, of our uh, inventory. Now we want to break them into classifications. Um, there is no uh, definite uh, breakdown. Uh, usually you look at anywhere from oh, 70 to 80 percent uh, uh, in regards to classification A and then uh, it could be 15 to 25 to 10 for C. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about here as we sort them, but the easiest way is to sort them from the highest to lowest. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these. Uh, I am highlighting to make sure that uh, we sort and keep the row all intact. Uh, if I were to highlight just the percentages, it would sort those and leave the remaining information. But I want all of this row to stay together. So you go to data here. You go to sort. Uh, we want to sort by uh, by uh, values. Um, so the column that we want to use in this case 
uh, is we want to use column G. So sort by column G values, and we want to flip this from smallest to largest uh, to largest to smallest because we want the largest on the top. And you see that it did that and kept the rows intact. Now here's where you have to kind of think through cumulatively uh, and look for kind of natural breaks. Like I said, the category A will make up the bulk of your inventory. And so anywhere from 80 to 70 percent. Um, if we combine these two, we're up to 63. Um, this actually might put us a little over but that's not too bad. Let's see what we get when we do that. So um, if we were to do that, let's sum up these and see what we have here. So that's 78%. That's not bad. So we would probably classify these all as A. Uh, and you see that you got kind of a natural break and that it goes from 13% uh, percent down to 6%. Uh, and so um, category A is, is these three items. They constitute almost 78% uh, of our, our total value, a little bit more than 78%. Um, category B is anywhere from, you know, 10 to 20. And then the last uh, category C is, is those that uh, are, are very little value, but anywhere from 5 to 10 or 0 to, to 10%. And so these are kind of arbitrary classifications. You just look for the natural break. So I assume we're going to add, there's 6, there's 11, there's 15, uh, kind of a natural break there again. So because uh, it goes from 4 down to 1. So let's uh, get a sum total here of, of those just to double check. We're going to sum these three. We'll probably put those all in category B. And that'll be about the range we want. So these become uh, category B. And then these last ones all be end up in category C. Uh, so let's just make sure that we haven't, uh, we don't have too many items in category C, but I don't think we will given the, uh, the per cumulative percentage for category A and B. Uh, this will be around 5%, 6%. So that's perfect. Uh, you could go higher than that, um, but by going higher than that, you know, we would uh, reduce probably category B a little bit. Um, so, like I said, you have a certain amount of flexibility here, anywhere from 70 to 80 percent, maybe even over a little bit over 80 percent. Uh, depending on how you, you group A, then you could have anywhere from uh, 15 to, to, to 20 Um and then this is, you know, 0 to 10 uh, type thing. Uh, and so that's kind of the breakdown of those. And so uh, these, these three items would be category A. Those we would track more closely because 78% of the value of our inventory is contained within those three items. The next three items uh, we would also watch closely but not as closely as A. Uh, they still constitute 16%. And the less stringent of our would be these last uh, four inventory items because really uh, they're only 5% of our inventory value. And that's how you do ABC uh, analysis or ABC classifications.